Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to make a vehicle, a working, moving vehicle with wheels. Um, I'm going to do a simple design, start off by creating your plane here. I've already got mine, pretty strong stretch for it to roll for a while. But then you're going to start by creating a box after you've created your thing. So, you're going to create the box, or whatever you're going to use for the body of the car. I'm going to move mine above the ground so there's no, you know, interactions where it over screws up. Then for the wheels, I'm going to use cylinders. Uh, it doesn't matter what you, I mean, I'm going to use spheres for mine. You can use cylinders or whatever you want to use for the wheels. It doesn't really matter as long as it works. I'm going to line mine into place. Clone it. Move it back. What I'm going to do here is going to um, move it over to the right. Then clone it again. Alright, uh-oh. I made more than I'd planned, I think. Here, let me see. Yeah, here, hold on. Delete that. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Alright. So, after you get them, you need to align them so you got a nice, even drive. You know, here, let me get mine in place. Alright. So, we're going to create a wheel constraint. The, the child, you need to click on the wheel for the child by hitting the none and clicking on your wheel. Then you need to check the parent box and then click the none button. Then click the body of your vehicle. Mine's going to be this box. And you repeat it for all of your wheels. The parent will always be the body of the car. Now we're going to do the same thing with spring. We're going to create a spring. Once again, parent is the car body and the child is the wheel all right you don't have to use spring I just do it because it makes the car reactions pretty cool it goes over a bump the wheels kind of go up and down it's pretty neat Let's see now oh it's probably not it's probably best after you have the car created not to scale it but for the body of the car you're gonna need to go to properties bounding box and then you know, um, the weight, that's about it. And do the same for the wheels, but if you're using a sphere or cylinder, anything that's not a box, you're gonna need to hit bounding sphere. And then do the weight. And the wheels are probably gonna, you probably wanna make the wheels a little bit less than the actual vehicle, otherwise you're gonna have a problem. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make mine crash into some boxes. You don't have to, it's just a cool effect. I want to do this. You uh, chain. You create your boxes that you want to do. Make them floating above the ground so they're not interacting with the ground. Just gonna clone this one box a couple of times and move it out the way. All right. Now, for this, you're gonna for the box. It's gonna be bounding box, and the weight's going to be two pounds. Is all I'm gonna make it. Now, I'm. Then you're gonna need to create a. Um. What's it called? A collection. After you create the collection, you add everything to the collection. Then you need a solver, and then add the wheels to the solver. After you add the wheels to the solver, you can um, adjust the speed. You can do. I'm gonna adjust my speed, which is the velocity, to like I think I did mine. Yeah. Okay. I did my velocity as 500 because it was a small, it was a big vehicle. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna rotate mine because mine was traveling in the wrong direction. If you're gonna rotate it, select the entire vehicle and then rotate it. See it go down the track and fall off because only one one wheel is going faster than the rest. Okay. Go to this wheel over here after I rotate it a little bit more. Rotate it, make it even. change the other wheel to the same speed and then preview in window um here I'll show you the finished product in a bigger screen okay goes down the track hits the boxes falls off